Hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always loved and appreciated. God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings, cosmic gods, okay? All beings of the highest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart. You are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please give my beautiful and amazing Piscean Seer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time, okay? That'd be like a real nice cool sometimes. So, I'm gonna just get this overall energy first. <laughs> this is uh, an Archangel Michael reading, okay? All right, we got the three of pentacles, okay? Um, I feel like some, some teamwork, I don't know, like spirit could be doing something for you, okay? Archangel Michael could be rushing in to protect you from something, okay? Like, you don't have to keep your temper nice and even at this time, okay? Like, you might be keeping some shit, but, like, just peep it, you know? Like, you don't have to always address everything is what I'm really hearing, okay? But let me see. So it says, it's safe to say that when the Three of Pentacles shows up, it means that you have become part of an elite, unbeatable team that found, that's found its groove. You are able to appreciate the diverse talents of your collaborators, and in turn, you are elevating your own skills. Leverage this rare synergy by sticking to a plan, communicating openly, and staying organized. Remember, the watchtower wasn't built in a day or by a team that couldn't sync their calendars. Okay, so, um, I don't know. I need some more. But I kind of do know. It says, so tired of this stupid shit, okay? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe you could be... Look at this. Sick of these niggas. Get rid of these niggas, okay? <laughs> I was just going to say, so maybe you could be... Um, I don't know. You could have had business partners, or you could have some business partners that you're working with right now. I, this is what I just said. Now I'm hearing... Um, usually, I don't do this. I just peep shit, but don't say shit, okay? So, like, this is what Archangel Michael was really asking you to do, you know, to peep shit, but don't say shit, okay? Because it's already being handled, whatever it is that is going on that you peep in, okay? There's some stupid shit going on. It says limitations inspire innovations, okay? So, somebody is thinking that they're limiting you right now in some sort of way. And Archangel Michael is like, uh-uh-uh, it just looks like limitation in the name of getting to these innovations, you know, these innovative ideas, you know, it's just experience is what I'm hearing. Okay. It says lead your metamorphosis, you know, like be the leader of your own change, you know, like you really do get to control, like how you talk to people and how the situation goes, you know, you just have to like put your own energy up there, keep your vibration up there, you know, don't let nobody like make you want to stoop down to their level. Like, I know it gets irritating and it gets like frustrating when you got to like always talk to people like, I don't know, I'm hearing like manage people like their children. Okay. It says, what does your soul say? But at the same time, it's like, if you're getting irritated or if you're getting frustrated and you're working with someone, you know, and you feel like, well, this is what I have to do for now. You know, Archangel Michael saying like, maybe try not looking at the shit. Like it's just some stupid shit. You know, of course it's sometimes most of the time it's some stupid shit, but you know, sometimes things are not as they seem. Sometimes that person or that partner that you have, you know, you just haven't gotten to a deeper level with them. So you don't really understand how they operate or how they work, you know? So you could be feeling like you're sick of this shit and you want to get rid of this person, but really this person could be someone that spirit is sending in to you, you know? Someone, okay, it makes sense. <laughs> the notes, that just made the notes make sense, okay? You can be a life path number three or seven or five or two, okay? Well, let me see. Let me read this. It's on 52. You could be seeing any combinations of five twos or threes, okay? 
So it says possibility, the essential meanings are possibility, a bridge between worlds, innovative ways of thinking, creative solutions arising because of the limited working materials, higher consciousness, you know, and also I'm hearing like um, this partnership, you know, if you're, whether you're already in it or you're about to be in it, you know, they're saying like, don't let like things that it seemed like you don't have, you know, like it was saying something about uh, supplies, no materials, limited working materials, you know, like don't let those types of things frustrate you because really you're just like getting stuck on that energy, you know, and it's like, you know, in a work setting, it could be even more explosive is what he's saying, because you feel like, like you want to stay professional and you want to give everybody the respect that they need. And so sometimes that causes you to like have to hold in a lot of feelings and a lot of things that you would feel better just saying in like a comfortable setting, you know, but it's like, there's a, there's a nice comfortable way to say most things, you know, <laughs> like you don't have to like, don't he's saying, don't wait until it gets you mad. And you're just like, Oh, I'm tired of this stupid shit. Like, I'm just going to get rid of everybody, you know, and just work on my own. You know, Archangel Michael saying like, you, you do big shit or you're meant to do big shit. Okay. You're going to need a team. <laughs> and in order to have a team and maintain, maintain a team to be the leader of the team, you have to be like the peacemaker, you know what I mean? The one who really knows everyone and knows why you chose to work with them in the first place, you know? It says, which one of these, oh, it says um, self-care message says, believing that your limitations are permanent, settling for less, assuming limitations mean failure, okay? This is what, what we're talking about, okay? It says, which one of the three words on this card grabbed your attention most, okay? Out of limitations, inspire, and innovations. It says, did you get excited about the idea of being inspired or about the amazing opportunity you have to create something totally innovative? Or did you immediately get stuck into the word limitation with the twinge of disappointment or a laminate for things that aren't going that aren't going to happen today. Okay. And that's funny because that's kind of the word that I leaned into, you know, like don't get stuck on the fact that you're, that you feel limited, you know? So, you know, look, it says, this is an extremely positive card, despite any appearances to the contrary. When we have the self-awareness to sense our current limitations, we can clearly see the opportunities for improvement and progress, adopt a mindset of self-mastery and see the hurdles for what they are, self-imposed limitations, lessons in disguise, amazing, amazing opportunities for self-discovery and growth, and limiting beliefs that beg to be released. This limitation is not permanent. It is indeed changing rapidly, okay? That's why the Knight of Swords was at the bottom of the deck, okay? Because I said something's happening quick, okay? It says, and you will transcend this barrier to your success, allow your current limitations to motivate your growth, you know? So it says brainstorm with the universe in a limited way. So it says, pick a word. The first word that comes to mind is right. Or if you want to be sure that serendipity is stepping up to the plate, grab a book, open to a random page and point to any word. Okay. Now that's your word. It says, trust that the universe gave you the right word and then ask, how can I connect my current situation with this seemingly random idea? How would a truly cre creative solution look if I incorporated, you know, whatever the word is into my life, you know? So, and then on the next page is lead your metamorphosis, the card that's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, like you have to allow yourself, it has a butterfly on it. You know, you have to allow yourself to transform with the situation. And it's like, okay. So the notes say, the notes are from Buffy and the Vampire Slayer. Okay. And so Buffy says to Xander, your logic does not resemble earth logic. And Xander says, 
yes, mine is much more advanced, you know, because Buffy, she's kind of serious. She's kind of on the mission. She's the leader. She's the chosen one. She's like, you know, I got to make sure that everything happens. Everything goes according to plan with this Empress energy at the bottom of the deck. You know, like I'm responsible to make sure that this thing runs smoothly, that no one loses their life. So, no, I don't have time for jokes. I don't have time for playing. I don't really want to um, play around and like waste time you know you could feel like playing is a waste of time you know but xander xander is really loose he's really fun you know in the most serious of situations xander is cracking a joke okay um and you know i do that sometimes when i'm reading and spirit was telling me you know it's kind of like like a heavy energy exhaust kind of thing, you know, like I might laugh after saying something that it seems like I shouldn't laugh after saying, you know, or I might, um, I don't know. I just do little things, you know, I like I, I've been noticing in watching myself that I have like little quirks and things that I do, you know, and I kind of like, you know, pondered it and spirit answered it, you know, like, yeah, you know, you have to relieve that energy in some sort of way, you know, so I feel like your work could be this same way, you know, you're going to have to get more on, you know, but <laughs> he was telling me like, it's both though, you know, like you can still be um, like in Buffy's very responsible, chosen one, make sure everyone's straight, take care of everything type of energy and still be in your Xander energy where you can laugh at life and you can make jokes and <laughs> in un seemingly uncomfortable situations and things like that. You know, like I think the point is just not to make everything so heavy at this time. OK, yeah. With the sun, you know, you need to be joyous, be happy, be grateful for the things that you have attracted to yourself you know this will make you a true like spiritual master in your own energy is what i'm really hearing you know you could be an aries leo sagittarius okay yeah we got the devil <sighs> i don't know which is giving me like you're chained to like these certain ideas of like what is life you know what I'm saying? Like, like what <laughs> is work, you know, like, like people tend to separate work from life, you know, people separate work from things that are fun. Okay. But you know, and so it's like, it's this collective of people, you know, at work, you know, doing this teamwork and just taking everything so seriously, you know, like nobody's smiling really in this picture, you know, everybody's just like serious and concentrated and like super focused on what they was doing, you know, and it's like, if that was the case, you could just get a nine to five. Why own your own business? <laughs> you know, if you're not going to have any fun with it, like that's one of the reasons why it's smart to start your own thing, you know. Then we got the nine of wands, you know, so you won't have to always feel like you're battling against other people's energies or the rules of how things are supposed to go there. So why start your own thing, build your own team only to make yourself feel that way, you know? So I feel like this is something Archangel Michael is wanting to like help protect you from, you know, like this feeling like you have to be so serious, you know? It says judgment, you know, but I think it's also giving me like an energy of like, <sighs> like you could feel judged, you know, or that part of you that feels judged could lash out and judge others, you know, but I mean, not in a bad way. Like, I feel like it's kind of like a human thing, you know, for people to be like very judgy, judgy, you know, like in order to really, truly stop judging people, like it really does. <laughs> It really does take time, you know, because a lot of us are raised, you know, like it's OK to just like, you know, crack a joke at someone else's expense and things like that, you know. But I just feel like you could feel like you're getting judged, you know, when it comes to the team that you chose to work with, you know, or like Angel Michael saying, like, you don't make you don't make choices that aren't best for you. <laughs> OK, this is what he's really saying. You don't make choices that aren't best for you. There's always a reason why you do things that you do. So why are you questioning yourself at, in, in the most like hectic of times? Look at the ice of swords at the bottom of the deck. Like you don't make decisions that aren't best for you. So you don't have to put extra worry on top of extra stress and then make everything seem so serious, you know, because um, 
with this chariot, it's going to make it a little bit harder for you to move forward in a smooth way, you know, like you, it's, it makes it seem like you're just sitting here waiting forever, you know, for your ships to come in for your happiness. But really, you're the high priestess, you know, you make whatever it is that you want to happen, happen. And I just feel like you really know that, you know, <laughs> I really heard like a reminder, you know, what's the sun and the king of wands? The two of wands. Yeah. It's like you have, you're going to have to choose to trust in your own spiritual guidance at this time. You know, you're going to have to find the positives in every situation that you find yourself in. You know, I like to say that the situations that spirit puts me in, you know, because I'm really into following my guidance. I really do what spirit like says, you know, and I honestly, I have a lot of fun like that, you know, like the spirit guides me to the most like unexpected of situations. Even if I feel like, you know, excuse me, it's like a horrible place and I really don't want to be there or, you know, it's people there that I don't really want to fuck with, you know, spirit, like just go, <laughs> just go, you know, do it trust us, you know, so I feel like you need that same kind of trust. What's the king of wands and the devil? The high priestess, okay? Trust that you can see things clearly, you know? I don't know. It's almost like it's almost like you're afraid of your own power is what I'm hearing. Like I don't know. What is the devil in the three of pentacles? The three of wands. And the knight of swords. I don't know. Either It's not like you're afraid of your own power, but like I said before, you know, you're going to have to choose to believe in it. You have to choose to believe that you are the high priest or the high priestess. That whatever you make is going to come for sure. I feel like that's kind of like the limiting belief that you need to break, you know, because then you would have more fun if you're doing it and you're chained to the limited belief that whatever you make does not magically manifest, then, you know, you're kind of like, so then whatever you make does not magically manifest because you're still holding on to the limited belief. You're still limiting yourself and limiting your way of thinking of yourself, you know? And also it's like that that lack of trust in yourself can affect your team because it's like that mirrors out into your reality of like, OK, well, I don't trust my next steps, you know, so you're going to be on your team's ass. Right. You're the leader. You're going to be on their ass. You're going to be, uh, you know, micromanaging and double checking into everything that they do, you know, and then it gives them the feeling of like, oh, I'm tired of this stupid shit. Like I should have just started something on my own, you know like a judgment that's going both ways when you guys are really um, balanced. You know, like I said earlier, you guys have that synergy. You guys are meant to like run together, but y'all have to stop judging yourselves and stop giving each other such a hard time. Yeah. With the death card, you know, like put a death to the way that you used to handle business or the way the mentality around it. Cause it's not like it's coming from a place of lack. It's just from a place of like, I don't know. I almost want to say like mistrust, okay? But this is kind of what we're talking about. Like it's some sort of like emotional thing, you know? Like the kind of wound that comes from people like letting you down consistently for a while. Yeah, with the king of pentacles. Like you're the only one you could trust to like really pull in the money and take care of everything for yourself. Like you would never, you would never put that responsibility into some other people's hands. And, and, you know, they're saying like, you definitely are blessed with that ability to attract money, to attract whatever you want, but in some way you're limiting yourself. And you could even not even be working as a team yet, but this is something that you're going to have to take care of before you and this team see real success is what spirit is saying. OK, you could be a Scorpio or you could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. OK, you could be a cancer or you could be a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. What's judgment and the chariot card? The four of cups. Yeah. 
it's like this could be something that you may not be seeing, you know, is kind of a big issue for you. You can even be someone, you know, <laughs> like it said, you know, sick of these niggas, get rid of these niggas. Like you could you could have gotten rid of a team or walked away from working with the team, you know, that probably wasn't right for you. But then going into the next team with that same mentality, like this, like, oh, you know, I already know where you see one little thing that might look like some shit you've seen in the past. And it's just like, oh, here we go, you know, with this same stupid shit again. How come I can't catch a break? How come, you know, I can't like just find a good team, you know, that's going to be there for me 100 percent, you know, but spirit saying you need to get your emotions under control, you know. They're saying like, come bring more love, bring more compassion to it, bring more sweetness and bring more laughter to whatever it is that you do. And it will open up all of these choices and bring you to a place of harvesting. But you have to be in this loving energy in order to see your potential grow to a place where you and the team can celebrate and dance. You know, it's like you already put it in all this work. We know you can work, but can you enjoy yourself while you work? Can you happily create? All right, let me, oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, let me get one for the two of wands of the high priestess, but it just jumped right out the middle of the deck. It's the water elemental. That's what I said, you know getting a little bit more control of your emotions when it comes to things that you're really putting your heart and soul into. That's why it becomes an emotional thing and it can make you be very serious about it, you know, but with these dolphins next to this, you know, this beautiful mermaid, like the dolphins symbolize play, happiness, fun. It says, I allow my body, mind and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life, you know, like everything's not always going to go how you think it's going to go because other people are involved. So you have to just go through the thing intuitively and not try to plan like every little thing or every little aspect of what's going on. Like you have to leave room, not only for a spirit, you know, to come in and like help you guys out, but you have to leave room for your team and who they are and what they think about it. You know, what's the high priestess and the three of wands? Cause it's like, you have to give them a certain amount of trust and you can, you know, we got the healer with the high priestess and the three of wands, you know, you could be someone who is a healer, but it says, I am a loving and compassionate. I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. And this is what I was saying, you know, bring more love, more compassion into everything that you're doing, especially when it comes to working with your team, because they are your team. Y'all got the synergy. Y'all got the juice. Okay. Y'all could do big shit. Just the same big shit that you imagined y'all doing. You're looking at your team like this, you know, like, oh, my team might not be perfect. This is how you looked at them or how you're going to look at them when you meet them. Like, you know, this team is not perfect, but I know we could do something big together, you know, and Archangel Michael doesn't want you to lose that because that is the inspiration that's going to inspire your team. What's the three of wands in the death? Yeah, heart chakra. This gonna bring in like some sort of upgrade too, you know? It says, I love myself and others unconditionally and nurture loving relationships. Like you're gonna have to nurture these relationships. Um, 118 could be significant to you, okay? Then we got the earth angel. It's like you're an earth angel teaming up with other earth angels. It says, I am a guardian of mother earth and protect all who live on her. What else? But also, you know, this could this could be this could be related to working with spirit too, you know. Like you just have to realize sometimes everything's not gonna go exactly how it's gonna go. And you just have to make room for your team to come in and help fix these things so that you can move forward, you know. Choose to have that trust in spirit, in your guides, in Archangel Michael, that he's protecting you, that he's around you, that he's in your energy, that he has your best interest at heart, that he wants to guide and lead you down this path that is perfect for you and what you want, what you imagine, what you dream to happen down that path. It says, I follow my own unique path with courage and strength, you know, 
And when it comes to working in a team, you can still be unique. That's what makes the team so great and dynamic, that it has different parts, you know, that it's multifaceted. It has multiple opinions, multiple points of view. The song says, some of them bros. Okay, it was Water Elemental and the Healer. Yeah, release. So it says, I release that which does not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. And that's that limited way of thinking about the things that are coming toward you. Yeah, we got meditation. So like maybe connecting in, maybe having a meditation with Archangel Michael, you know, where you ask him to, you know, help protect you, help your help protect your heart, you know. Do something to make it a real thing, you know, so that you don't walk into it feeling like, oh, you know, I haven't covered this. I haven't handled this. You can walk into situations knowing like, OK, Archangel Michael is protecting me and everyone else in this situation that I come into contact with. And I can count on that. What's OK? Thank you. <laughs> it says nurture a nurturing heart. And it says mother. It says, I am a protective spirit and reach out to all with love and compassion. So, you know, just Archangel Michael drilling that in more like I am a protective spirit. I'm here always with all the love and compassion that you need, touching everyone in the situations that you're in with love and compassion, just to make sure it goes perfect for my earth angel. Woo, that's beautiful. My eyes is tearing up. Okay. <laughs> What's Earth Angel in uh, your own path? It says uh, nature spirits, okay? It says, I respect all of nature's elemental beings and help preserve life on Earth, you know? And then we got sacred space at the bottom of the deck. It says, I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. You could be someone who really loves to be outside, you know. You can have a lot of protective nature spirits in your energy at this time, okay? Okay, what else? We got uh, Joyville, okay? No judgment. This is what I was talking about, okay? Thank you for this confirmation. So it says, I release, I release myself from any and all judgments. I find my inner critic, call it into my office and tell it to take a vacation. As it leaves the room, I let out a sigh and begin to enjoy the simple joy of being. Who hired that guy anyway, you know? We got impermanence, okay? So it's like, even if, you know, things didn't last, you know, with any team or any people that come in to work with you, you know, even looking at that in a different way, like, okay, you know, I know that this didn't work out for, for my best interest, you know, and being okay with the fact that this is impermanent or that it didn't last. Maybe it lasted as long as it needed to last. Sometimes you only need to be around people long enough for you guys to exchange that energy. And you have done your job and they've done your job. Boom, boom, contract complete. And so, boom, now it's time to separate. And that should not, that shouldn't bring you anxiety. You should be able to find some, you should be comfortable with death. This is why death is so important and always being talked about. Because you should be very good. Like, you have to build up the skill that it takes to just put things to rest, and do it just because God gave you the feeling that you need to do it. And just watch how things, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, really walking intuitively and really trusting yourself and trusting your guidance. Trusting yourself is trusting your guidance. It says life is always changing and I drift easily through those changes, good and bad. You could be someone who always calls Archangel Michael all the time, you know, and he's saying like, I'm there all the time. I'm there the minute you even think about calling me, <laughs> okay? It says, I can take comfort in knowing that I will leave them behind as I drift away from good times. I can take comfort in knowing that more will come my way. Impermanence is an equal opportunity non-entity. Like, it's okay. Like, people make you feel like when you're growing up, you know, that if it doesn't last a long time, you know, then, you know, somebody in that must have did something wrong or somebody must have, you know, like messed it up. But it's not always that. 
sometimes spirit got to instigate shit just to mess it up and make it go bad because we won't release. We got options, okay? All in the name of opening up more options. Just like grabbing your leg and like <laughs> pulling, you know, like this is what they're showing me, you know, like them, like just, you know, grabbing some part of you and pulling you away, you know, like, come on, let's go. Like, we don't need to be here no more. It's time for you to go move on to the next option, to the next treat that we have in, our, in line for you. So just like, you're going to have to trust in this. It says, as I open to the abundant possibilities of my life's path, I'm reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is a buffet and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting thoughts. Like you can't put mac and cheese in your baked potato, you know, like just this very open mentality where you know and understand you can do whatever it is that you please because Archangel Michael is by your side. You ain't breaking the rules of the universe. You're not setting poor intentions on others. And therefore, you could do what you want to do. Yeah, it got we got wonder at the bottom of the deck, you know. It says, it's a wonderful thing being in a state of wonder. And when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show, you know, just being grateful no matter how things go. Because you know that it went right or it went wrong or whatever. However it went, it went that way for you, okay? <laughs> and and like something better is coming along. It says embrace the energy of peace, you know, with the broken arrow. Embrace that peaceful state of mind where you know more is coming. And then we got mirror guardian with take time to reflect, you know? Like really take time with Archangel Michael and reflect on this, you know? Ask him, you know, where am I being too defensive? How is it that I'm judging myself? You know, what limiting beliefs is it that you want me to release at this time so that I can move forward? You know, what is it that's making me feel like I'm bored or making me feel like I'm tired or making me feel like just throw everybody away? You know, sometimes you just got to throw everybody in the situation away, you know. But sometimes it's just you and you're just pushing because I don't know, sometimes you're just pushing because it feels like people are just pulling and it's it's a lot. It's sometimes it's just a defense mechanism, you know, and Archangel Michael saying, like, you don't have to be defensive in that way. So call on me, meditate with me and let's see what we can get released, you know, for the highest good of you and and your uh, manifestations that you want on this path. Look at the sky father. OK, it says trust in the unknown. What's the final thought, Archangel Michael? Woo, okay. We got guardian angel. You are not alone. Woo, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh, the energy that came with reading that card. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Where is it? I think I see it. Nope. Ooh. Oh, here it is. So the message says, watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they are close by. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. The guardian angel card shows the white feather that has become known as the guardian angels business card. Whenever a white feather appears in your life and or on this card, I mean, and or this card appears in a reading, it's a message to say <laughs> your guardian angel and ancestor guides are particularly close at this time and are there to support you with, with their love. If you have asked for help with a particular situation, know that that there is divine intervention in the works. It says everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all your endeavors in order to fully receive their support 
support first, ask for it, and then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. He's also saying like, you know, because I was saying you could be calling on Archangel Michael all the time. You know, he's saying like you call on him, but then you're not even open to receiving like more of this teamwork, you know, you're not even open to receiving the energy that Archangel Michael is giving to you because there's some sort of limiting belief in the way, you know, that limiting belief could be blocking off some of your high priest disabilities or high priest, you know, but Archangel Michael is with you always, my love. You have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. Like I said, um, try some meditations. He's saying like, uh, get into breathing work, you know, uh, some of those videos that say Archangel Michael on it. Okay. The ones you're intuitively attracted to, you know, like search Archangel Michael videos and just look through and just find the one that intuitively calls to you. Okay. And that's going to be a very powerful meditation for you to do. Okay. <laughs> and with that, I am done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later. Bye.